Welcome to Monday morning in ETC. Today is going to be an unusual day. I'm doing Facebook. I'm doing ETC. I'm going to be double dipping by myself, which is really a, a rare thing. But I remember the first time I had a guest call and say, I woke up this morning and I'm throwing up and I'm sick. I'll come if you want me to. And I said, uh, no, I don't want you to come. And from that day forward, I learned it almost lifted me and gave me a little self-confidence that I could do the program alone, which was kind of interesting for me because I'd never done that before. But I started doing, and occasionally, I like to do the program alone. I like to flash back to things that were very special to me. And today I've chosen some very special things to share with y'all. So if you're with us on Facebook, you're not going to get to see it unless you're with us on ETC. So you need to run to your TV and hit channel 3 from Ball Ground to Turtle Town. One of the things I want to share with y'all, um, last Thursday night, Freddie's birthday was Wednesday, and so we had kind of planned to, we always go out with the Bridgmans on his birthday. It's just kind of tradition. We've done it for years, and we'll continue to do it. Thursday night, they were singing up at the food factory in Cornelia, Georgia, which is where WCON, our radio station, I love that radio station. It plays oldies, um, it plays gospel music, it's just, a, it's a really cool radio station, so we love it, and so Freddie had mapped out our little trip, and we went by WCON and saw where they started, and actually rode around and saw a home that my aunt had purchased up in Cornelia, and we just had a really, really good day, and then we ended up food factory with the Bridgmans. But on the way, we went by Lee Arendale State Prison. And if y'all are watching my Facebook page and you see that shot, that is Lee Arendale State Prison. It is a women's prison. And I got to thinking about, not all women who are in prison are behind bars with that razor wire. A lot of women are in prison because they have spent their life in an abusive relationship. They have felt very insecure because of something somebody told them. They have heard all their life that they're stupid, that they're not going to accomplish anything, that they're never going to amount to anything. And when I looked at that picture of the Lee Arendelle prison, it had the church with the cross in the background and then it had the razor wire. And I thought that is kind of like all our lives. We have a choice to stay in the prison of hopelessness or we have a choice to get out and to do something for somebody else. And I have asked a dear friend of mine to step out of her comfort zone and to do something for somebody else. She has been a grieving widow. She loves the Bible. She loves teaching the Bible. She loves learning every single day more about the Bible. And she knows that the Bible is the truth. So I asked her. She kept saying, I need something to do. I need something to do. So I've asked Vicki to join me one Thursday a month. And she's going to share how the Bible got her through the loss of the love of her life and beginning her life over now it and it's you know it's amazing to me because no matter what we're facing the women sitting in prison today I guarantee you, if you counseled each and every one of them, there is a Bible verse that would explain how they can come out of where they are and how they can start over and how they can begin anew. And they all can. It doesn't matter what we've hit. It doesn't matter what slapped us in the face. We can come out of this. I've been there. I've done that. This morning, I watched a program, and it was on May the 11th. I believe it was 2011. And it was... The first time my daughter was in intensive care, almost gone, her potassium level was zero, and it was basically self-inflicted, not taking care of herself, not doing like she should have done, and she almost left us on that day. And sadly, eight months later, she did leave us. But as I was watching that program, I remember standing in the emergency room with my child, who was unconscious, her, her child was in Alaska then. I was in the emergency room alone with my child, not knowing if she was going to come out of this. And I took my cell phone out and I took a picture. And it was a horrible picture of my child. But she was laying there in a coma looking terrible. And I was so sad and I was so upset. And I thought, I don't want this to be the last photo my granddaughter sees of her mom. But I saved that picture to my old phone. I still have that old phone, and I can't get rid of it because it has that picture on it. But luckily, Angela came out of that and, and was with us eight more months. But when you think about 
I know the point I was at that day. I know how down I was. I know how lost I felt. I know how desperate I felt. I also know that I knew that there was hope because Angela was saved. She understood that God is here for us at every single moment of our t of our life. The good, the bad, the ugly. It's he's he's here. He's here. And so I felt his presence in that hospital room. I was angry. I was um, hurt. I was devastated because I thought my child was leaving me that day. And I was given eight more months. In that eight more months, I don't know what changed and what was different. I don't know what we got from that. But there's a Bible verse somewhere that will tell me that I was given a gift of eight more months of my daughter's life. Did I appreciate it? I did. I did. I saw a little sparkle come back in her eyes. Um, she had been in a very abusive relationship. So when you think you're a woman in prison and you're sitting at Lee Arendelle Prison and, and you have those guards and you are strip searched and everything that happens to you happens to you, you are not alone. There are women sitting at home who are in prison because they chose to be in a terrible relationship, because they chose to be battered and beaten or they chose to be talked down to. And and I think that Easter week is, is the week of resurrection. We can all feel that resurrection of coming out of wherever you are. Whatever is really bad in your life, Easter should be the week that you come out of that because we all understand. We understand that that tomb is empty. There is hope for everybody who chooses to believe and to follow him. And so this weekend is going to be a very, very special week for us. We're going to share some great messages with you. And on Wednesday, y'all are going to be so tickled when you see my guest who is here on Wednesday. And I'm so excited about it. So actually, he's in Atlanta today doing television. And, and he's doing WATC this morning. And then he's going to be with us on Wednesday. So excited. Yes, I'm excited. You see these thumbs up? These thumbs up are for my buddy because I have a very special buddy who's having a birthday today. See this cup? This is in honor of my buddy, Ed Singleton, Subway. So happy birthdays. Here we go. Happy birthday to Ed Singleton, to Eddie Brackett, who turned 80, and he is so precious, and to Angel Smith, to Shirley Nicholson, to Vicki Wittenbarger, to John Bishop, to Dustin Sumner, Cindy Cindy Parks, Courtney Crisp, Yay Cantrell, Peggy Chapman, Carolyn Burkholder, Deborah Richardson, and these a lot of weekend birthdays too. That's why we have so many today. To Donna Wofford, to Stephanie Kitchens, to Sandra King, to Dean Pritchard, to Robin uh, Hitchcock, to Melvis Saxon, to Gail Brown, to Patricia, Patricia Parton, and to Pamela Rice. So those include the weekend birthdays that often we miss, but I wanted to take care of those today. I also have a very special prayer request. Um, our family has been just riddled with cancer, and once again, cancer has called a family member home. The Fricks family, um, my cousin, Fairy Fricks, is the granddaughter of Bessie Whitzel, who is my granny's sister. Her son went to be with the Lord last night. Tony was Freddie's age, battling cancer. Everybody was praying, and, and prayers were answered. Not always the answer that you want, but prayers were answered. And to his wife, Tracy and to his mom Fairy and to all family just just say a prayer for them because he has been given he's been given a promotion it's not easy to handle it's very hard for the family it's going to be hard for a long long time and there will be days that they will smile again and I know that will happen because I've been there I know it will happen so please say a prayer for them and today a very very special happy anniversary Victoria Rowland is one of my favorite young women. I absolutely adore her. And when she married Matt Green a year ago, she became Victoria Green. She is beautiful. She is special. They have a wonderful love. And their love started because of their love for Christ. And I love that about them. They are such special people. And happy, happy first anniversary. I hope it's a wonderful, wonderful day. And to Jimmy Johnson, who won that race yesterday. Way to go, young man. It's about time you got back in the winner's circle. So happy, happy, happy day in racing. Today we're going to share some things with you that I think you'll like. Um, I want to share um, Matt Holcomb, Matt Holcomb, Mike Holcomb left the inspirations about four years ago and went out on his own. He is an amazing evangelist preacher and we're going to share the heart of the home where he visited with me and we just talked about his life and what it takes to do what he does and you can he see him still here on ETC at Heart's Desire Ministries. I think it's on at 7 o'clock on Sunday morning. I'll check and make sure about that but 
but he does, he delivers a message on television. And I told him over and over and over again, I would rather you go out and, and do your evangelist preaching that night and record that and air it because when he gets up, he really gets it going. And, and you know that he is speaking the truth and I love that about him. So today we're going to just visit with Mike Holcomb. We're going to share a little bit more special music with you. And I hope you just sit back and today's going to be a very special day for all of us. When I think about the 12 years in television and the many, many guests I've had and the great musicians and the songs and the and the way we've been able to touch somebody's life every single day somebody says you made a difference in my life every single day somebody says I remember the day that we announced that Angela had cancer here on television it was very very hard for me but you our viewers helped me to get through it I remember the day that we came on the air and asked for prayer for the Singleton family and the Anderson family because of the horrible accident that happened that took Brady's life I remember that moment like it was yesterday because you, our viewers, always come together and you always make it better for us. And so I want to say a big thank you to each and every one of you. It is, as we approach the anniversary of Brady's death, it is time to pray for the, the family again. He is gone. He is in a wonderful place called heaven and um, probably with a John Deere tractor up in heaven. But, but when I was watching the program this morning and it had Jennifer Danner on there and she had written some words to a song about Brady and I just thought this seems like yesterday and it wasn't yesterday. It was many years ago and many years the pain and the healing. It is still a healing process. But if you go to the Bible and you keep looking, you will find something that will explain exactly how you're going to get through through this and that's that's something that Vicki's going to do for me in the near future she's going to come and share a message with y'all so I'm excited about it we're going to take a commercial break and um, when we come back we're going to set it up and we're going to visit with Mike Hawkham for a little bit you have never been so happy dancing swinging laughing at me smile on my face it's happiness for days uh oh you are everything I need happy ever after will be. Couldn't even dream a better, couldn't even dream a better way. Whether it's memories of your first trip to the local Dairy Queen or your daily visit for a $5 lunch special, the Jasper Dairy Queen has been a part of the community for over 40 years. Locally owned and operated, Jasper DQ is the place where specialty items often become favorites. Burgers, shakes, chicken tenders with yummy dip and gravy, and don't forget the rings and fries. Celebration cakes are always fresh and fast and include the awesome blizzard cake. Stop by where folks are always meeting and eating. 515 at Highway 53. Just follow the crowd to the Dairy Queen. Fountain Roofing has been providing excellent service for 35 years. Let Lonnie assist you in choosing the roof perfect for your home and your budget. Commercial or residential, he can handle it all. Fountain Roofing continues to provide quality workmanship and will provide references upon request. At Fountain Roofing, we've got you covered. Call Lonnie at 706-692-6997. That's 706-692-6997. Since 1962, Gilmer Towing has been serving the North Georgia area and would like to say thanks to all of our customers. For over 48 years, Gilmer Towing has carried on a family tradition with an experienced and friendly staff that offers 24-hour damage-free towing, unlocks, and four-wheel drive recovery. So when you're stuck in a ditch, tires flat, or car won't start, give us a call. Local or long hauls, big or small, Gilmer Towing will get them all. Give us a call today at 706-636-4TOW. In today's changing world, some things should never change. Time-honored, compassionate services are what families have come to know with Roper Funeral Home. Our professional and courteous staff offers traditional services, cremations, as well as advanced funeral planning, which relieves the burden from those we love. Hello, I'm Kevin Roper. If you have any questions about the services we provide, we invite you to give us a call, stop by, or better yet, ask a family who has used our services. We've had Alpha Insurance since our first daughter. And when we had quadruplets, <laughs> we really needed Alpha. Now we need our own insurance with great rates, fast claim service, and a local agent we know. And we want to company our kids and grandkids can trust. <laughs> Call Alpha! 
best agents in the business. Call Ed Stepp in Blue Ridge. Georgia Medical Treatment Center in Canton specializes in low-level pain management. We provide a holistic approach to treatment, managing knee, back, and joint pain along with migraines, allergies, and medical weight loss through holistic and alternative approaches rather than pharmaceutical treatments. By offering multiple specialties under one roof, including chiropractic care and neuropathy injection treatment, we create the continuity of care that assures positive patient outcomes. So take the first step to a life free of pain. Give us a call or go online today to GeorgiaMTC.com. bit of flash from the past um, you know it is amazing 
Marie was Freddie's bus driver. And uh, being a kid in school, riding the school bus, she was his bus driver. They had a great relationship. She played the piano. They actually ended up working together later in life. He had so many happy years of working in mental health and at the Gap and with older folks and with special needs folks. He loved, loved, loved his job. And their relationship was very special because she could sit down at that piano and all the people would gather around and they just it just touched their hearts. That's what life is about, is about touching somebody else's heart. Today I want you to say a prayer for her. She is battling Alzheimer's. She is um, the light of her daughter's eyes. She has wonderful daughters that she loves so very, very much. And often when they go to see her, she's not quite all there. So pray for everybody who is battling Alzheimer's because it is one of those disease. Vicki and I met a young lady two weeks ago who was diagnosed two years ago in her late 40s and to see what that disease does to all of us I'm on a kick of eating fish every day now I think it's brain food and I hope it's going to help me I hope I'm not eating so much fish that I'm eating stuff that's going to give me some kind of toxic mercury poisoning who knows you know you think you're doing the right thing and you never know but Alzheimer's and cancer runs in our family and that is very scary because we know that we have that genetic trait I've never smoked I've never chewed tobacco and I've never dipped snuff so I hope I won't have that problem but you never know you know and every every single day you look around and somebody who's healthy somebody who's a, a health nut runs every day ends up dropping dead from a heart attack at a young age we are seeing people leaving here that are way 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 too young so when you think about Alzheimer's, it doesn't care how old you are. It doesn't care what your family history is. It just is what it is. And we want to say a prayer for everybody battling Alzheimer's. Today, my purple is in honor of everybody who ever fought. Alzheimer's is a, it's a horrible way to steal a life. And um, I want you to say a prayer for everybody who's ever fought it and every family member who ever left here too soon because of it. So do that. We're going to go now to Mike Holcomb. Mike was with me 10 years ago. And we were sitting in my living room talking about his life with the inspirations. He was with them for over 30 years. He was traveling as an evangelist preacher, which he is fantastic. And then he was doing the inspirations. Well, he dropped out of the inspirations and left after many years and nobody believed he would do it, but he did it. And he is now doing the evangelist preaching is touching so many people. There are so many hearts, so many lives that have been saved because of what he chose to do. In order to do it, he's gone from home a lot. His wife has to be a part of that ministry. That's a choice he made. And he made this choice to step out on faith, and it has worked very, very well. When I looked back at the 10 years ago, um, one of the best messages I ever heard was up on the mountain at Singing in the Mountains. Mike delivered a message before the um, singing that day, and I thought, oh my gosh, you are fantastic at being with that audience. And I said, with television, it's a little different because you're staring at a camera, and you don't have the the reaction of the people but to see Mike preach with the reaction and the love and the heartfelt it was just amazing so so I said I want to share him with y'all today and I'd forgotten all about this program but it was interesting to see um, we were in the kitchen cooking and we were just sitting there talking and we were just having a really good day and I thought he truly did step out on faith because when he left the inspirations there was that guaranteed check every week and he knew what he was going to be doing and he just put his his name out there and churches started calling so there you go it worked perfectly and it had to be God's plan or it would not have worked perfectly so so if you haven't been able to see him singing lately I bet you you can catch him preaching and you can do that right here on ETC we're gonna go right now to Mike and it's gonna be like a seven minute segment and then we'll do a commercial break and then another seven minute segment and we're gonna get that in today it is going to I hope touch your heart touch your life and make a difference in somebody's life who, who maybe doesn't understand exactly what Easter is about maybe they don't understand that no matter what they're facing they can cry out and say Lord will you please help me and I guarantee you he will and Mike's gonna Mike's gonna share a little bit of himself with you now Guys, you keep picking them. I'll keep buying them. Okay. Blackberries, and I'm going to use a little bit of kick of my Savannah cinnamon. I'm going to use almond, right. which is a little bit strange for blackberries, but it it actually just kind of tones it down a little bit. And then also, I am going to use their raspberry syrup mix. And sometimes blackberries are a little bit flat. You know, I like them, but sometimes they're a little bit flat. So mm -hmm. I'm going to combine these two tastes. 
and I am going to use the raspberry and the almond. And then I'm going to add some sugar to it. And you're going to melt butter. And at my house, what button do we mash when we melt butter? Popcorn. Is that because <laughs> I can't see the other numbers? I'm so sorry. You know, it may be my age. It may be my vanity that my glasses just kind of mm, don't work well. So, and we're going to add a little bit of sugar to the blackberries. And keep in mind, because I've used the Savannah cinnamon products, I'm not going to use a whole lot of sugar. Just stir that in. And honestly, that little bit of almond flavoring just adds a little kick to it. I tried this a couple of years ago, and everybody said, what's different about that cobbler? It's that little bit of almond flavoring. And it's just a little bit, not much. You know, it's also good to use that almond with um, Cool Whip and make a dip for fruit. Now, Mike, you can you put me water? some hot water, honey? Yeah. Now, guys, let me tell you, along with summer come gospel concerts. And August 11th, we're going to have the Dixie Melody Boys in Jasper. And then in November, we're going to have you here, aren't That's we? That's right. I can't wait till y'all come back. And this will be my, uh, the Dixie Melody Boys will be here August the 11th on a Saturday night. Good. That'll be my first time to see this group together. Ed O'Neill. Ed O'Neill. He's been around for 150 years. Absolutely, absolutely. He must be doing something right. he's a great right. guy. He yeah, really is yeah. a great fella. I like it. He must be doing something right. Now, was that the popcorn button I hear? I hear it. Isn't that awesome? You know, all it takes is one button and you can control the world. Now, blackberries have to have Mayfield vanilla ice cream. We know you have to have Mayfield vanilla ice cream. There you go. Now, have you ever had my cobblers before? Mm. Okay, well, well the kick to this is, the only liquid you use is butter. No milk, no nothing. And you mix equal amounts of sugar and flour. And Michael, if you'll notice, have you seen me measure anything? Not yet. No, I don't measure. <laughs> I can't read the lines on the cup. Yeah. <laughs> so what good would it do me? <laughs> But I just know when it's right. I just, you know, you know the consistency is right and you just keep working with it and that is perfect. Boy, well, that was... I, I remember uh, when my grandmother used to be cooking and I'd send one church, she'd have a little pinch of this uh -huh. and a little pinch of that. Exactly. All I knew is I didn't want pinched. Well, that's right. Well, my granny used to say um, T90. So T90 is one of my favorite words. I'd say, Granny, how much do you put just a T90 bit? Uh, okay. And, and I've always wondered exactly what is T90. Now, Mike, we've got the oven heated to 395, and I'm going to have you put this in there. And when it gets done, we're going to serve it with Mayfield Vanilla Ice Cream. All right. And then we're going to enjoy some gospel music. And I don't know who we're featuring today, but I can promise you it'll be somebody good because you can trust me when it comes to gospel music. I've got good taste, considering the inspiration's my favorite group, <laughs> you know. You know, folks know they can trust me. We have a little DJ here in Jasper, Tom Haney, who um, works with us at WLJA. I feature y'all every Sunday morning, and we call it the Hometown Sing. And it started because you're a hometown boy. Correct. And we love doing that, and we love we get calls from everywhere. We do a little contest every week, and we ask them questions about y'all. And usually within 30 seconds, somebody knows the answer. So people have followed y'all and uh, appreciate what you do. Kind of like we're going to appreciate this cobbler when it comes out of the oven. Uh, I'm appreciating it all the time. Oh, yeah. Now, that looks good. Now, will you stick that bad boy in the oven? Uh, Be careful. Top shelf. Mike and I are going to continue visiting, and we want you to continue visiting with us every week. And we want you to check out our website, www.heartofthehomerecipes.com. Remember, guys, we made it simpler for you. Heartofthehomerecipes.com. We're on every With speeds up to 150 meg, ETC and Ignite delivers more, more, more. More shopping, more music, more learning, more streaming. More speed to power smartphones, movies, and streaming video. More speed for more devices in your home. And more room in your budget with ETC's low pricing and bundled discounts. Get the fastest internet around with Ignite's new 150 meg. More speed, more savings. Call ETC today. Proverbs 426 states, Ponder the path of your feet, then all your ways will be sure. Too often investors are looking for instant gratification or some secret formula for success. The prudent, however, have pondered the path of their money, invested with a vision, and based upon a plan that drives the selection of their investments. 
We believe the prudent approach is to have a strategy and patiently work towards your goals. Give us the opportunity to compete for your business because at Keiko Wealth Management, the wisdom is in the planning. I'm Lauren Smith, the University of Georgia. Today we have John Davis, former Georgia Tech All-American, Frank Ross, captain of the Bulldogs' 1980s national championship team in a Subway showdown. Subway. How many Subways does that Singleton own? He just up at number 17. He started in my hometown of LJ. Yeah, but he graduated from University of Georgia. Oh. Hey guys, who's hungry? It looks like Subway and Singleton Food Services Incorporated, the winner again. Subway. Chevy runs deep in Canton at Bill Holt Chevrolet. Deeper selection, deeper discounts, and we're letting everybody know it. Not just Chevy buyers in Atlanta. Chevy buyers in Blairsville, Blue Ridge, Jasper, and LJ. If you're out there, we're right here with one huge selection at Truck HQ. Always get our lowest prices and friendliest service. Online, BillHoltGM.com. Because when you're talking trucks, you're talking Truck HQ. At Blue Ridge Dermatology, we believe your skin is vital to your health. That's why each of our providers gives personalized treatment recommendations. Let Dr. Mills do a thorough exam. He specializes in all skin conditions. Jamie Savageau is our nurse practitioner who specializes in skin disease. And our physician's assistant, Patrick Martin, is a certified injector for facial rejuvenation. Our certified laser technician, Donna Atosco, performs laser procedures with the latest gold standard equipment. Susan Newton is our medical esthetician. She specializes in chemical peels and skin tightening. Let one of the staff at Blue Ridge Dermatology help you look and feel your best. When Mike leaves town, it's a little scary. You never know who might be outside. But we feel safer inside knowing our home is being monitored by a local company. I can check our alarm from just about anywhere. So when we get home, I know it's safe. Get peace of mind for your family with a local company. Switch your current security monitoring to ETC Security and get six months monitoring free. Call ETC Security now or visit etcsecurity.com to learn more. Whether you're swimming in the sea or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece or just making memories, writing a great American novel or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow. Whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge. It really is. It's, it's vital to the ministry. It's vital right. to life, period, that we uh, as friends work together. That's right. Not only as friends, but as family working for the same cause. That's right. I've heard you talk about people you can depend on to send you good music. Right. And, um, you know, I know you don't have time to, do people mail in stuff or do you just know who to depend on? We get, the inspirations gets probably a thousand different songs wow. a year that wow. people have written and sent to us. And you pick us. 12 or 14. And we usually pick 10. Mm, isn't that something? Go through that whole stack of music uh -huh. and try to find the 10 that fit us uh -huh. and say something to us right the best right and and the message that you're going to deliver to the public has to be something that is true and about your home industry and it, and it has to be the kind of things like I have not forgotten how many million people has that touched I don't know that and and who wrote that Lance Carpenter Lance Carpenter, Lance Carpenter. Wrote that. and now on your new CD you have another song that he wrote which is called things are different now yeah things are different now. things are different now things are different now they are things are different they now are. your grandchild precious is growing up in a world that uh, my children didn't have to face you know um, mm -hmm. It's very different. It's very different. And yes, it, it it's is. almost scary because what you do and what I love, the gospel music, I worry about the generation behind me. Now, my 15 year old has heard y'all, and he must, I, I, let me tell you, number nine, he says it's the best you've ever done. <laughs> the new one on the new CD. Right. While I'm playing number eight, he's hitting number nine, you know, and he loves that song. That's he's good. 14 years old and he gets that message, you know. Right. And it's important for you to reach that generation because I'm one of the old grannies, honey, when I'm gone. We want the next generation and the next generation to listen to the message and the music. Right. And that's important. And it's important that you be out here and people be aware of the fact that you are on television preaching. Mm -hmm. You're traveling, doing your evangelist two nights a week, three nights a week maybe? Two to three nights a week. I'm usually home about four days a month. Isn't that something? So... 
family is important because if your family didn't support you, you could not do this. You well, could not do this. Since my son-in-law was promoted and my daughter moved back, built a house close to us, my granddaughter is there, mm -hmm. and we make it a point that we invite them to go with us wherever mm -hmm. we go mm -hmm. so that they don't have to be there by themselves right. and they don't have to depend on phone calls and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, be honest, Papaw couldn't take it too long without <laughs> seeing that. Aubrey. <laughs> but uh, they go with us quite often so that we can be together. Mm -hmm. And I have seen Aubrey grow up and, and, and sitting there a um, couple of weeks ago at Singing in the Smokies, I looked over at her and I thought, what a precious child and what a wonderful life she has and how lucky she is. How she lucky really she is. is. Yeah. She's been blessed. She really is. She uh, doesn't have daddy, but right. you can. she'll say, uh, mention her own daddy now. And she's only two, but mm -hmm. it, she talks about daddy. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can say, where is daddy? And she'll say, She's with Jesus. Mm -hmm. That's right. She's in, That's he's right. in heaven. That's right. Um, you know the song that Milton sang the other night, um, oh, about the Jesus. Uh, I want to see the man that God sent. What is the name of that song? It's on the new CD. When he was singing that, I thought children will relate to this song. Children mm -hmm. will relate to this message. And I think that's so important that you choose right. songs that the next generation can appreciate. Well, it, it seems that in society today, we think we're supposed to forget about what has oh, been. Oh, no. Absolutely not. So that we not. can go ahead with what is today. That's right. But what has been has led us into what is today. Exactly. And if we don't have the true, rooted, grounded truth within right. us, we don't have tomorrow to look That's forward right. to. That's right. And I said, you know, you don't know how bad it was, but, but you know, I've been friends with your Aunt Hazel for 35 years. Right. And I didn't know how much I needed your music until I lost my husband and my mother within six weeks of each other. And I sat in an inspiration concert feeling so sorry for myself. And when Matt Dibler walked on stage and sang Resurrection Ground, I looked at myself and said, are you not the dumbest person in the world? They have got it made. And here you sit, you know, worrying about all this mm -hmm. stuff. Right. And, and that moment, my life changed. And, and I can't tell you how mm -hmm. much it changed because I made up my mind, I'm going to do more for more people. I'm going to be... The best that I can be here because one day I'm going there. That's and, right. and that's what it's that's all about. Right. That's what it's all about. Well, this is just a preparation ground Absolutely. for what's going to be. Absolutely. A lady came to me the other night after we'd sung If You Only Knew. She'd lived with a preaching husband who pastored the church for 47 years. God took him home this spring. And she was just devastated mm -hmm. without him. Right. She didn't know what to do with herself. Right. But when she heard that song the other Absolutely. night, she said, how stupid has it been Absolutely. that I'm sitting and wallowing in my sorrow exactly. when he's been promoted and she's got to enjoy it now. I could write that book. <laughs> well, guys, when, when we come back, we may write a book. You and I are going to talk a little bit more about why you do what you do and how well you do it. Hang around. Come back in just a minute, and we'll visit more with Mike Hawkham. I know you're going to enjoy this, folks. Hang around. We'd like to thank President. Okay, we are going to now uh, go to a little bit more of the interview with Mike Hawkham, but I have another birthday I want to share with you, and I want to share some good news for you. Today, between 540 and 545 on Fox 5 out of Atlanta, Beth Galvin came to the Woodbridge Inn, and she interviewed Hans Ruford, and that interview featuring the Woodbridge Inn and featuring Hans and what he has gone through medically. He is a medical, he is a godly, a medical miracle because there's no reason that boy should be here and he has he has surpassed everything that any doctor ever thought and, and it's a miracle and Beth came out and did a story about him and you will see that today. So mark your calendar, set your timer on your uh, DVR and, and watch this today between 5.40 and 5.45 the story of Hans Ruford and his success and, and your prayers made a difference in his life. I guarantee you, your prayers made a difference. And also, another happy birthday to another family member, to David Malone. He is Freddie's cousin. Um, Freddie has amazing cousins, aunts, family, and, and just a special, special bond and a special family in the community of Ball Ground. So happy, happy birthday to David Malone. Hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Now, we're going back to Mike Calkham. 
And if you're if you would love to see him preach, to hear him preach, you know, he does the morning message here on Sunday mornings. But if you want to go where he's traveling to churches, go to his website, go to his Facebook page and just type in Mike Calcum, Brasson City, North Carolina, and you can find out all about him. If your churches would like to book him to do an event, he'd love he does that, you know. He is one of the best. And I think singing the messages he sang, I was thinking about a song that he used to sing that Nick was hooked on. It's called Overwhelming Joy. There is nothing like that song. And, and Mike would hit the stage and the whole audience would go absolutely crazy. When he preaches, the audience captures and, and gets that message. So if you haven't got to hear him preach in person, you need to do that. Okay, we're going to go back to Mike and I as we visited 10 years ago. Because I have to. It's not a choice that I would make. Mm -hmm. It's the choice that was made for me. That's right. I've been bought with a price. That's right. Paid for. That's right. I'm not my own anymore. That's exactly right. And the decisions that I have to make, really, I don't make. Mm -hmm. God's already made them for me. I mm -hmm. just have to know which ones are His and which ones are right mm -hmm. and follow Him. That's right. That's right. And, and the people who know you know that to be the absolute truth. You know, that, that is the truth. You don't choose to be away from your family and you don't choose to do what you do. But boy, there are a lot of people who are glad you do. There are a lot of people who are glad you do. And you know, we all, everybody respects you as a singer, but people respect you as a man. And, and that, that's a lot to say in today's society. You know, that is a lot to say. My husband was the type of person who did too much for too many. And sometimes I would say, why do you not know how to say no? And he said, I just can't. He said, just you know, can't. I just can't. And I, I understand that about him now. <clears throat> Let me tell you a sad story. My child won his first race Saturday night. He's a go-kart racer and a good one. Never won. He won Saturday night. Yesterday, JS has been gone five years. And I still have crybaby days. Uh -huh. Yesterday, one of my kids reached in a pair of JS's pants that were here and found a hundred dollar bill. Well, Nick had just said, Mom, I need a new set of tires. We cried and we cried and we cried. That hundred dollar bill had been in his pants pocket since the day he was diagnosed with cancer. I immediately went to Nick's website and I changed the ending of his website and I said, my son won his first race Saturday night and there was a fan in the big bleachers in the sky who helped us along and, and Daddy, we knew you would be there for us. He is there for us. He is That's there right. for us. And, and we get through the hard times and the hard days because we have the support. And, and we know <clears throat> everything I'm doing today, I think J.S. would be tickled to death with. You know, he was a very private person and he, hey boy, he wouldn't be on TV. <laughs> <There's no laughs> way. That was the most bashful person. One of my friends was visiting right before he passed away and she said, he has talked to me more today than he has in 25 mm -hmm. years. And I said, well, Cooper, I reckon he finally figured if he had something to say, he better say it. But he was very quiet, but he was very dependable. And you're that kind of man. You know, people know they can call on you and they know they can trust in you. And it's because you find follow that right man, you know, and that's what it's all about. That's Y'all have another song about the cross. I think it's number two on the CD. Was mm -hmm. that written for a preacher? That was written about a preacher's oh, life. Oh man, yeah. that is an awesome song. It's the cross that carries me. Absolutely. A lot of people, all they see is what we do. Right. They see the cross that we carry, so to speak. Right. But it's not that we carry the cross. That's right. It's that the cross has picked us up. Absolutely. And carries us. Well, I've listened to that song. It's like almost drilled in my head because I understand that message that, you know, and people do. I mean, I looked at Matt Dibler Sunday, and to be honest with you, he looked like death warmed over. Uh -huh. He's very tired. He's getting very little sleep. He's preaching. He's singing. He's doing a good job at both. But that song relates to you and him mm -hmm. more than anything I've right. ever seen in my life. I don't know how long physically mm -hmm. we'll be able to do all that right. we're doing now. Right. But in either direction that we go from here, he knows what I need. That's right. And he knows what I can do and what I can't do. Right. And the doors that are open will stay open. Right until he decides to close. That's exactly right. And you know, when we talked about the LJ station in November, we just weren't sure if you were reaching people because you weren't getting cards and letters. I want to encourage everybody, write you, 
call him, do whatever you want to to get in touch with him. If you see him at a singing, tell him, Mike, I want you on Heart's Desire Ministries. Let him know that what he's doing is worth the effort. Because through television, you can't mash a button and we can't say 875 people watch today or 10,000 people watch today. Right. You need to know that, that you're, you're putting your life on the line every day. You know, uh, Matt told me something that happened to y'all in Birmingham when the drunk guy stopped in the middle of the interstate mm -hmm. and almost caused y'all to have a bad, bad wreck. The Lord watched out for you, didn't he? And Many watched times. out for that poor drunk, you know. Many times. Absolutely. You know. Absolutely. And I know y'all rotate driving, but you're all tired. And and what you do is, is tough. It's tough. I, I commend you because, honey, this go-kart racing, between that and driving to Lawrenceville to church has about whipped me. <laughs> it's just about whipped me. So, right. And there are a lot of days I think, whoa, I don't know if I can handle this. Mm. But, um, but I can tell you. You can drive home from Bryson City real sleepy and listen to number eight real loud and stay awake. So, <laughs> so when you get sleepy driving, turn on number eight and, and uh -huh. pop that thing up. You'll love it. But um, you do what you do because you love the Lord. And you do what you do because the people need you. And, and they do. They do. I have seen people sitting there. Um, Resurrection Ground is one of those. If I, if you only knew, I'm a winner either way. There are so many songs I have not forgotten that the face of the audience is worth it all because you touch so many, mm. so many. Right. And the other night in Mississippi, we sang in Verona, Mississippi. My television program has been on there for about five years now. Mm -hmm. From Fulton and Pontotoc, Mississippi, they all get it on cable or. Anyway, I'd never heard but from two people wow. in that whole area in this five years. Uh -huh. But the other night at that concert, there was probably 25 who said they watch said, you. I watch you every Friday night. Right. Right. But I'd never heard a word right. from them. And, and we want to encourage people, please get in touch with Mike and, and go to the Inspirations website, which is, is a good way to get a link to him, and let him know that you're watching him and let him know that you appreciate what he's doing. Now, I'm going to appreciate you helping me in the kitchen because we're going to cook a little bit today. We've spent more time talking and visiting, but guys, mm, I had to take it... Okay, we have already showed you how to do the blackberry cobbler, and I hope you will check that out. We're going to share a little bit more music today with some wonderful photos. If you're thinking about Good Friday or whatever day you decide you plow up your garden and you get ready to plant your garden, there's so many people out there who are thinning out their flowers, whether it be iris or gladiolus or the old-timey petunias. Anything you've got that you want to share with somebody, pick up the phone and call somebody and say, hey, I'm getting my garden ready to plant. We're going to share some gardening with y'all. We're going to share some beautiful photos and some awesome music. I have a friend who's bringing me down some of his wife's old-timey volunteer petunias, and I cannot wait to get them. I love the old granny flowers. I love the dahlias. I love the things that continue to come up. But we want to remind you, Gibbs Gardens is having an art show May the 20th and the 21st, and it is going to be one amazing event. The gardens will be spectacular then, like they are all the time. But if you haven't thought about your mother's Mother's Day gift, think about picking her up just one of the cards that will give her one year's access to the gardens and it is just a fantastic gift. It's a wonderful way to just sit, take a book with you if you just want to sit and walk a little bit and then relax, choose a special place in the garden that you just want to sit and read. But it's just a wonderful time to, to just enjoy the beauty of the flowers and oh my goodness, oh my goodness. But go there hungry and have the great chicken salad. It was so good. So don't forget that for your mom for Mother's Day. When I was looking at the video last night, I think that this is a combination. I'm not sure if Fred Wyndham did it or Donovan Jones did it, but it has a lot of your gardens in our community and you will recognize some of your yards. You will recognize your flowers. It is heartbreaking to me to watch it and think about the people who are gone because like Carl Ed Abernathy, his garden was in this and he was always growing something and cooking it for me. He wanted to step out and be a special friend and he certainly was that. Then Laura left us. So it's, you know, we look back and just make the most of every single moment you have with those friends because we don't know when the Lord's going to call them home. We have no idea. And I don't think we'll ever, ever understand how it happens when it happens suddenly, how it happens when somebody so young passes away. 
I don't know what it will take to, to make us understand that, but we don't question. We just accept it. It's, it's a long time accepting it, but I think if you, if, if you watch this program and you listen to the music that we chose, you're probably going to sit back and reflect a little bit about somebody special that you lost, and I hope that that'll touch your heart. So here we go to some very special music and some beautiful flowers.
what a perfect way to end that video with my dear friend who has gone on to be with the Lord, Carl Ed Abernathy. What a wonderful, wonderful friend. What a wonderful, wonderful man. Um, I'm so blessed to have him stepped into my life, and it was because of doing this television program. When you think about 12 years of television and the friendships and the relationships and just the blessings I've been given, I can't thank y'all enough. Um, it, it, I look back and it's like, gosh, has it been that long? And it really, really has. When Lori Tipton came and talked to me about doing this, I had no self-confidence. I had been traveling, doing um, trade shows, and I love doing that one-on-one -on -one person, but I didn't think about television. I never thought about that. I love doing the one-on-one -on -one when we would do the booths and, and share our products and, and just I would get excited about that. And I guess that kind of gave me an edge when she did come and talk to me and I said, well, maybe I could. And yeah, maybe I have. And now 12 years later, I'm still enjoying it every single day. You know, when we come to you Monday through Thursday, it's, it is a burden to me to be able to touch somebody because every single day I think there's somebody out there that's hurting the way I hurt. There's somebody out there who's lonely the way I was lonely. Only. There's somebody out there that needs to hear something we're going to do, and whether it be the music or the message or just my guest, you know, I hope that it's touched your lives. And I hope it makes a difference in somebody's life. Now, I want to remind you again tonight, tonight, 540 to 545 on Fox 5. Please tune in and, and see our buddy Hans Rufert as he is successfully still running the Woodbridge Inn. And I want to remind you folks who have children, Easter egg hunt, huge Easter egg hunt, 5,000 eggs. This is Revive Church down in Ball Ground. The, the event's going to be at the downtown park, and they put downtown park, and I said, does that mean the little park over there by the um, stage, or does that mean Calvary? and Farmer Park, so I'm not sure. I guess when you get there, you'll find the crowd and you'll know. But it's this Saturday from 11 to 1, 5,000 eggs, so it's going to be a big deal. And your kids are welcome to come and participate, so do that, and that's going to be in ball ground. There are going to be other Easter egg hunts around the community, and I'll be talking about them tomorrow. But don't forget, Easter is that day, that moment when you think about that tomb is empty and, and that tomb empty means that everything is really good for us if we accept him. So so think about that. We're going to leave you now where rivers, mountains, and good friends meet. I'm headed back to the tiny, wonderful town of Ballground. Hope that you'll get out today and do something very, very special with somebody you love. Do something with somebody you haven't seen in a while. Pick up the phone and call them and make a difference in somebody's life. Don't leave us now because ETC is going to have trading time coming on live at 5 o'clock. you be a part of that. So a hurricane